All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. Now, this video is gonna be sort of sweet and simple, um, pretty short. Now, I don't know which unit this is specifically, but it's their uh, the Finnish Defense Forces FinSoft. So I think it's like their Special Operations Forces uh, Reserve sort of units. Now, this video is going to be primarily focused on their close quarter battle training. And if you didn't know, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty big on close quarter battle. I'm pretty passionate about it. I did serve in the recapture tactics team uh, in the Marine Corps, which is basically like a quick response, close quarter battle team. But I want to check out how their gear looks. I want to see how their tactics look and sort of see what, what kind of fundamentals they actually work with. Now with CQB, if you're doing CQB right, the fundamentals will generally be the same regardless of whatever country you're doing CQB with. But uh, yeah, it's still interesting to see if there's the you know there's nuances and how people implement the fundamentals if they sort of do more emphasis on violence over surprise or if they take speed and just really run with that so we'll check it out and uh, I'm sort of excited to see how they actually do it. Okay, so we have we have some good equipment. You can see he's got a high cut helmet, and those are solid because it allows you to have those electronic ear uh, ear protection, which allows you to communicate better and just sort of have a better um, idea of what the environment looks like. Because when you don't have good ear protection or you can't really communicate effectively, there's just a whole bunch of loud noises, and the battle space just sort of gets cluttered. It's sort of hard to focus, so. Uh, yeah, pretty cool so far. Pretty solid. All right, so it's gonna get very quick here, so I'm gonna try and pause it every now and again. But uh, their training marksmanship, very good, especially sort of dynamic marksmanship training where you're moving around a lot, you're changing the distances up, potentially shooting while moving, targets are all over the place. So that's solid. Their tactics look, look pretty standard where you have one person getting one corner, the next person getting the other corner, and then the three men sort of getting in the middle of the room. So that's pretty standard. Now ideally, they would start implementing, you know, sort of pieing off doorways, clearing a lot of the room out before they actually go in, but their tactics are pretty standardized when you're talking about CQB. They did it very well, they weren't really running into the room, because if you go too fast, it gets a little bit harder for you to actually see everything, and, and your, ba your brain can't really process it if you're going too fast, because you might go past a target and have to go back, and it's just more time for them to shoot you, so. They're, they have a good speed, their tactics are pretty solid, and yeah, they, they don't have a big gap between their individuals going in, so that looked pretty solid. Okay, so their stack looked good. They were communicating non-verbally, which is very solid. Uh, it looked like they were using their non-firing hands, which is pretty much uh, standard. Uh, you don't want to do a whole lot of talking outside of the room because it just lets the people know that you know there's people coming. And it's good to, it's just good in infantry in general for you to not take your hand off your weapon if you're in like a CQB environment. So making sure you're doing all the all the commands or what have you, just passing things off with your non-firing hand that's pretty solid and uh, yeah they had their flashbang you always want to use a flashbang whenever possible this isn't even like uh, specific to specialized CQB units uh, infantry doesn't really do it a whole lot in the US military but flashbangs are a game changer if if you're doing any sort of CQB you want to have flashbangs and they're implementing it well sometimes you'll see people just launch flashbangs in the center of the room or like in the back of the room actually which isn't really good because you don't want the flashbang to be behind people 
or behind furniture or what have you. You want it to be generally in the doorway in case they are looking at the door, they'll see the flashbang before they see you. Or if it goes in the center of the room, it, it, it'll probably affect anyone who's actually in the room. So good flashbang placement. Okay, so that was solid. That's definitely what you like to see. Um, if you have any sort of closed door, you want the person opening the door to not be the one that's actually going in because it just gets a little bit sloppy. It's just a lot of coordination. So you just want to minimize any excess coordination as much as possible. So the person opening the door wasn't the person going in. He opened it and the people on the other side were immediately exposed. So they're able to flow in nicely and you had, I think it was two or three people, so they're able to take the, the big danger areas before the doorman actually had to go in. So very solid. Um, I mean, I, I imagine even with any reserve force, if you have a special operations capable unit, they're going to be very heavy on their close quarter battle because they're generally put in situations where they need to be pretty good at that. So uh, yeah, I would love to do some training with these guys. Um, that maybe they can teach me a little bit about some CQB stuff. Maybe I can teach a little bit It's just it's always fun to just sort of bounce ideas off because CQB. I mean, there's different ways this, you know, They always say there's a thousand ways to skin a cat or what have you and that's very true with CQB There's definitely better ways than others, but there's there's still interesting things that you can take um, based off of people's experience so I definitely love to talk with some of these individuals maybe do some training with them but yeah, my hands are kind of tied with that. But awesome recommendation. If you guys have any other close quarter battle focus videos or room clearing in general, uh, definitely send those my way. I, again, I'm really passionate about room clearing and close quarter battle. So uh, please feel free to send me all those recommendations because I'd love to check them out. I, I'm not huge on talking smack on anyone. So I'll generally just say if something doesn't look right or something could be done better. Um, because it, it's, it does no good for someone to not know that they're not doing it as effectively as they could, if that makes any sense. But solid recommendation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about it. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.